Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. So Mojang has just introduced a new function in the Minecraft Java 1.12 pre-release uh, 1 uh, version of Minecraft. And this is just called a function command. So this is forward slash function. Now what a function does, it allows you to run a text file okay with a, a a list of commands in the text file sequentially so if you have uh you know where you would normally have had a whole row of command blocks that you know fires one after the other okay you now just need a single text file to run a whole whole bunch of commands okay now we're gonna what we're going to be doing is we are actually going to cre be create very very small um function just to show you how it works and all of the, all of the things about the function and that's going to be detecting a bed and then when when I'm on the bed bouncing me up as if it's a nice big bouncy bed okay and this will teach you the function command okay now how the function command works first off uh, if we type in function okay we then need to specify a folder where our text files are being stored and then we use a colon so you'll see at the moment I already have a dragnos folder I use colon and then I use whatever the actual uh, function is that I want to have. Now they can have unlimited amount of functions uh, in an unlimited amount of folders. Well, obviously not unlimited, but you know what I mean. Okay, so where are these folders? So let's quickly go and let's quickly go and create it. So first thing you need to do is go into the Minecraft folder. Okay, so it depends on where um, what what operating system you're on. I'm currently using Windows 10. Okay, so it's under, and then you go into your saves, you go into your world file. So my world file here is 1.12 a pre-testing world. And then you'll see a folder called data. If you go into that data, you'll see another folder called functions. If you go into that functions, this is where you cre create your various folders and, and files. Now, I find it uh, very neat and tidy if you actually create an, a folder for your functions. I'm going to create a folder, and this is going to call, I'm going to call this bed bounce. Okay. Right. And then inside of that, I'm going to create two, two um, function text files now depending on your operating system you need to create the one uh, use the way you you use your operating system but be sure it's a plain text file with no formatting okay so the first thing is i'm going to detect bed okay so that's going to be my first one so just so that i can detect the bed and then the, the second one is i'm actually going to do what happens when i am on the bed and i'm going to call this bed bounce okay or just bounce so because i've already got bed bounce uh, as the folder name, I'm just going to call that bounce. Okay, so now we have our two, uh, our two, our two function files, plain text files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to detect the bed. So we're going to open that up. Okay, uh, and we are going to type in our command. You'll see execute at all players, uh, detect bed zero. Now I'm going to change that bed zero to minus one because the bed zero means a bed that is uh, in a specific direction. Bed three is a bed in a different direction. Bed four in another direction, etc., etc. So bed minus one is actually uh, all beds. Doesn't matter in which orientation is, which color it is, anything at all. It is that bed. And then if I detect that bed successfully, I'm going to say, and now this is, I'm just going to add a bit here, found bed. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to save it. Right. So now we have our first function. Okay, let me just quickly get off this bed. Uh, and I, let me just quickly change my viewpoint. I, I have very big trouble uh, working like that. Okay, so first we need another new function is reload. So we're going to reload it. So that reloads loot tables, advancements, as well as functions. Okay, so if I now run the function, function, you'll see it's got bed bounce, bed detect bed. If I run it, you'll see it says, it failed to execute. So if I stand on top of bed, run it again, you'll see found bed. You see that? Found bed. So if I run it again, found bed, found bed. Wonderful. So that actually works by just typing that command. However, there's another new thing called a game rule. Uh, game rule. Game loop function. Now, like with all game rules, it can only have uh, an on or an off state and then in this case a value or non-value so for example now we are going to type in um what what is it so we, we we're going to type in the function we're going to run is bed bounce detect bed 
Okay. Now when I hit enter, that game loop will constantly run that function. Now at this stage in the in the 1.12 pre-release one, we can only run one of them at a time. So if I get on the bed, you'll see it found bed. And when I get off, off it, you'll see it's not working. And then I found bed. Okay, so I am now running a constant execute without any any command blocks in this world okay so that but that's all good and well but what we want to do is once we're on the bed and we're detecting the bed we want to do two things okay the first thing i want to do okay is i want to actually levitate the player now you'll see effect at s now at s is something i will discuss at a later stage but it's just a very very specific way it's uh, it's, it's checking the exact player that's running the command okay levitate uh, for one second 10 now if I do that you'll see I'm gonna do that however you'll see I'm getting hurt okay so that's fine we're gonna levitate the player but what we're also going to do is we are going to actually give them an effect a jump boost of 255 which turns off okay which turns off the actual fall damage right so we're gonna run those two commands so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into um, our detect bed we're gonna take out that say and we are actually going to run a function okay uh, and this function once again is going to be right we're gonna change that and we're gonna run the bed bounce now remember function bed bounce is the folder colon means the text file inside it which is bounce and now I'm gonna save that okay and then I'm just gonna go back in here and I'm gonna reload all right now you'll see nothing will actually happen okay because there are no functions in that particular file so if I go back into bed bounce okay I'm just going to add my two functions in there okay my levitation so I'm actually gonna make this levitation I'm gonna make a little bit more I'm gonna make it 15 and I'm gonna make this over here four. right but the wonderful thing about this is I can actually add comments by doing a double forward slash I can go uh, this makes the layer float okay it doesn't need to be said but I mean it's just just so you know and the next one is uh, this stops the player taking fall damage okay and I'm gonna save it right and then once again we come back in here we reload now when I walk onto the bed you'll see I'm jumping quite high plus I am not taking any fall damage Okay, so now this allows me to do some really cool uh, new maps. Oh, I thought I really thought I was going to make that one. Whoop. Okay, so I really thought I was going to make that one as well. Right, so that is it. Okay, that's it. So this is how to use the function command uh, to pretty much no longer need command blocks. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It just allows you to do a lot more neat and streamlined things. I'll be making a lot more of these videos. So those of you guys who subscribe will see it again. Those who haven't subscribed, yeah, you know, just check out my channel every now and again if you want to see any of the new things. So, okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later. <laughs>